Hello and welcome to another JB Wargame 87 showcase. Today we're going to look at the most iconic unit in the 41st millennium and that is the Space Marines. And probably the most iconic type of unit is the Tactical Squad. Now, in this Tactical Squad here, I currently have three of them painted, planning to do an entire company. So I've got the Demi Company almost finished from this video onwards and as you can see here it's every single weapons option you can think of from a law perspective so what we've got here we have got the leader of the force with the sergeant as you can see he's got no arms obviously that is because he has got all of these options um, so what we've got for the sergeant how I've done it is that he's got a thunder hammer a power maul, power axe, power sword, chain sword, power fist, and a single lightning claw. Those are his close combat weapons that which he can choose. And for the ranged weapons, he's got every type of combi weapon. So you've got the combi bolter, you've got the combi flamer, you've got the melter gun, combi plasma, and combi grav. And obviously he's got a grav pistol, plasma pistol, bolt gun, storm bolter, and bolt pistol. And not forgetting the combat shield and the arm that is attached to the ranged weapon or close combat capability. And that's the spare hand there. And I'll show you the reason why I've done a spare hand for the sergeant. Now, this tactical marine sergeant is tactical squad number four uh, as you can see here the roman insignia that the ultramarines use for the iconography is number four so for example i can equip a lightning claw and then attach the arm and I give him a storm bolter it fits like that now people say James, why do you go through all this hassle for, for doing these options? Well, the one thing I can't stand in a game is proxying. I can't stand it when it says, oh, he's got a plasma pistol, but when you look at it, he's got a bolt pistol. That I could not stand. And I love versatility in a single unit. It's kind of like the computer games where you get a gun and then you find another gun and that's what it kind of represents, that's what I wanted to have for my commanders especially. So different configurations make it a bit more fun and make the most of your kit. Um, as a little tip here on how to paint these, when you paint these it's very 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 important that you do not use spray varnish. And I say this with experience. Um, what happened was, was that there was one time when I sprayed the tiny little components for this kit and it missed it up and it can be very very annoying. So what I highly recommend is you paint the matte varnish on. It's, it makes life a lot easier. It will take a little bit more time uh, doing that but it pays off because obviously spray it can ruin your miniature and the spray obviously sprays everywhere and all the bits will fly everywhere. You don't want that. So I highly recommend you hand paint these tiny little components. And let's just show you another configuration. Let's look at the combi weapon. So look at this, look. I drew a one mil by one mil magnet inside there. Tiny little magnet and exactly the same over here if you can just see that there's a little hole that's where the magnet goes and that's just enough magnetization to fit that on like that you can see that's a nice fit for the combi grav for example so then we'll put this together so he would have like that goes in his right hand it goes there combi grav and the reason why we have got the little hand is because that's his right hand facing that way. That is a one mil magnet 
in that hand and you can do poses like that so there you go that's why there's the spare hand so it gives you more uh, poses um, as you can see here with the tactical squads they've all got their bolters hold with two hands with the sergeants however you can get away with holding it with one hand except for one of the marines if you, if you wanted to you can hold it with one hand holding all specs for example so let's give him a different weapon so we can take this off and we'll put a chain sword on there you go you've got a combi grav and chain sword and with uh, this little idea, uh, idea I thought of I thought it was really good the new uh, I think this came with the assault marines box and that is the combat shield so the actually the sergeant has got 5 up in vulnerable save according to the new rules of 8th edition that we're currently on as you can see there, you can attach a little sidearm. So you can fit a bolt pistol, and that's magnetized into there like that. These are 2x3 magnets, and that's a 2x3 magnet in there as well. And if you really wanted to, you can fit a storm bolter. I know it looks a bit crazy, but you can do it. You are allowed to do that, according to the new rules. And then let's do another one. The power mall. Now, um, the power mall is quite a unique weapon actually. It's one of the last weapons I figured out how to... Uh, which, which type of power mall should I use? Now, this power mall here came from the Death Watch kit, the new Space Marine Death Watch kit. And it was absolutely perfect. I really wanted a power mall for my leaders, which is, is a great weapon. And I thought, why not put it on Tactical Marines? So therefore, I've got every single type of weapon you can imagine. So, I went on uh, Bits Box um, from eBay. Got a whole load of power mauls. I think I've ordered like 20 of them. <laughs> because I've got them for my other squads as well I'm planning to do. And I thought I'd use the power mall. And it came out really, really well. And it's a simple... Just basically this simple uh, painting scheme that I've done there. So there you go. Give him a pose there. That there is the sergeant. And then you've got the option of having a flamer for the tactical squad. So you've got that there. Now in a tactical squad, before I go too far, uh, there's a unit of 10 obviously. This is not a uh, full unit. This just gives you more versatility. So in a tactical squad you'd have a support weapon or special weapon and then you've got a heavy weapon or one heavy weapon to support one of each and then the rest are equipped with bolters and of course you've got the leader which is the sergeant. So that's the flamer and then you've got the plasma gun there and then you've got the melter gun like that and you got the grav gun as well. And you got the humble marine, well not quite humble, but mean marine, the space marine, with the bolt gun. And then that's all then. I'll show you in the showcase uh, turntable at the end of this video. Then you got the missile launcher option for the tactical squad. One heavy bolter, and then you've got the multi melter there, plasma cannon, uh, las cannon, and the latest in uh, weapons technology for the 41st millennium, or one of the latest, is the grav cannon. Grav amp. So there you go. That's every single weapons option that you can think of. Now the one last thing I like to point out is transfers. Now what inspired me to do these ultramarine transfers was from the I think it was from the Planet Strike first edition book. It had all the marines laid out. And the icons, if you notice, they're not all the same. They're unique. And I try to make every single marine look unique. And I thought, 
uh, what a great idea and a few weeks later uh, I think it was like a week, a few weeks or a few months Forge World released the Ultramarines transfer sheet and then a few years later Games Workshop made their own transfer sheet and I thought why not put these transfers onto the Ultramarines and I thought I'd do that and it came out really really nicely and I'm really pleased the way they came out for them. And you can see there, there's all unique patterning on there. And I've got the white Roman numerals for number four, for representing tactical squad number four. So there you go. That there is just a quick showcase on how to magnetize a tactical squad. Remember, if you like this video, give it a comment. Uh, what you think, of the, what the ideas are good, what, actually there's a question, what would your sergeant be equipped with? Leave a comment below, what is your favourite weapon for the sergeant? That would be great, and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe, it would be really, really appreciated if you could do that, and it will help me support uh, this channel. So there you go, thank you very much for watching, hope you enjoy the end credits, and I hope to see you in the next showcase video.